In this video, we're going to try and understand why an equation of this form, why an equation of this form will yield a surface looking like this. Okay, so, so you can think of this surface as being like a saddle. A saddle is something that you can put on top of a, a horse's back and then the rider would sit on top of this. So you, you, you can think of this as being, being like um, a saddle where you can put it on top of a horse's back. So imagine this is your horse here and then you've got your rider sitting on top of this. So the right leg would be on this side and the left leg would be on the other side. And then, uh, well, I imagine this surface as being being like a saddle. So uh, let let's try and understand why it is that this equation will give you this surface. So as always, let's let's put zero into the x and try and understand what's going on. So let's let's put zero into here. So when you put zero into here, this thing will disappear, giving you this equation. Giving you this equation. B squared equals z over c so um, let's let's just um, let's just imagine b to be 1 and c to be 1 for simplicity so you've got something looking like this so when um, when you put 0 into the x um, imagine imagine this is 1 here positive 1 uh, positive 2 positive 3 and this is negative 1 negative 2 and so on so when you put 0 into the x imagine you've got a sheet of paper a, um, a vertical sheet of paper. Imagine you've got a vertical sheet of paper. Well, keep an eye on these dots here. So when when um, when x is one is here, when x is two is here, when x is three is here, when x is negative one is here, negative two and so on. When you put zero into the x, you're really looking at a, a sheet of a vertical sheet of paper being located at x equals zero. So which would be right here. And uh, so, so when you um, when you put as x, when you put zero into the x, it, it will yield it will yield this thing here. So in your mind, in your mind, picture this. In your mind, picture uh, picture this. Hang on, equals z here. In your mind, picture this graph here, where where the, remember z is the height, and y uh, y would be here. So this is like me asking you to sketch y equals x squared in, in a way similar to that uh, it would give you something like this it would give you something like this so when you look at this sheet of paper um, the, when, when, when x is zero it would give you this what, what's being drawn on this sheet of paper would be this bit here y, in a way uh, it, it would give you this thing here z equals y squared it would give you this and then on the negative side there's nothing on the negative side well if you look at this if you look at the surface, um, where the surface intersect with the plane, uh, there there will be nothing in um, in in the uh, on on the uh, on the negative side because it's hollow. Remember, your your saddle is hollow down here, so there will there will be no intersection. The only intersection would be along here, which will be this thing here. Okay, so let's let's start from the very beginning again. Bear with me. Bear with me. So, um, so we've been given this uh, this equation here. Uh, now let's put um, let's put uh, zero into the y. So put zero into the y. Uh, this thing here will disappear, giving you giving you um, minus x squared equals z. Let's just imagine these constants to be one. So uh, so that will then give you this. Well. Um, well, if, if you sketch a graph of this, so remember the, uh, uh, the, the hang on, let me think. Um, so, so this is your, um, hang on, hang on. Well, when, when, given, when given this, in your mind, draw a graph of uh, z, z is a height, and let's just imagine this is x. So, uh, so it's like me giving you y equals x squared. When you sketch it, it will look something like this. It will give you a negative quadratic. It will give you this. It's a negative quadratic. So when when you uh, when you put zero into the y, you've got to imagine you've got a, a sheet of paper, a vertical sheet of paper. So bear with me. So let's let's just imagine in in the y direction. Let's just imagine this is one, this is two, this is three, this is negative one, uh, negative two, and so on. So when you put zero into the y, you've got to imagine your your vertical sheet of paper 
Well, this is negative 1, this is negative 2, uh, this is 1, this is 2. So when you put 0 into the y, you're really moving the sheet of paper and settling it at, uh, at y equals 0, which will be here. Well, if you look at the intersection, the intersection would, be, would give you this. It would give you a negative quadratic. It would give you a negative quadratic. So when you, when you look at this, z is the height. And uh, and x x is going along here, um, so uh, so so it will give you a negative here. It will give you a negative here. The if you look at above here, there's nothing. There's there's nothing above here, uh, because you've got a shadow. There there will be no intersection between the the surface and the sheet of paper. That's why you've got you've got nothing at the top, whereas down here you've got a negative quadratic. So I hope you can see why this. Hang on. I hope you can see why this equation would lead you to this surface, okay?